What's good, y'all? This is C, Certified Brewhead, and welcome to a brand new series we're doing called Stay Home and Drink Craft Beer with me here on Beer <laughs> I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. You might have seen these videos. They're a full hashtag on YouTube right now. People doing the stay home and do something with me, so... We thought Tiff had a brilliant idea. As you know, any ideas on this channel, it's all Tiff. Oh, I thank you. Do a series of kind of vlogs. Since we can't vlog like we used to, I think we were just talking about that in the podcast we did on last night. With, with Nate, Nate, yeah. Uh, episode four of our quarantine series. We do all our vlogs when we go to like, you know, where you can drink vlogs or where to drink craft beer vlogs at uh, various brew pubs in different cities, or we do the festivals and stuff. And all of that is like, Dunzo. So I guess we have to, you know, do it within the confines of home. So we thought we'd make it interesting. Now tonight, I'm going to be drinking all beers from Henderson Brewery. They sent a PR pack, I guess it was this week, just gone, um, with some of their new releases. And uh, I'm going to start with this one here. It's called Picnic. It is a light, I believe, lager. Uh, it doesn't say, it just says light beer with lemon, Maya lemon zest. 3.5%. So Henderson are from Toronto. And uh, they do mostly, uh, it's really hard doing this without resting it somewhere. Uh, they do a lot of um, crushable kind of beers. So real, I feel like they're like a gateway brewery, but they do a bunch of fun stuff too. So let's see what this one, okay. Little bit of chill haze. Oh, she looks good. Yeah. Starting light, you know? I like that. Oh, smells like a crispy boy, but touch of lemon. Get in ya. Nice. It tastes like a crispy boy with lemon. That's interesting. Um, being as cold picnic, I guess, I don't know if this was done before or after all of this stuff. Um, cause I kind of, it's like a tease right there. Um, <laughs> I do enjoy the multi, uh, cultural artwork. There's people of all different shades. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. All different genders Hey, respect. Shades. You can tell you're from Toronto. Mm. Henderson are really good nice. with this stuff. Love so, it. One thing I wanted to just explain, I thought about it, I was the same tip before. I don't know if I really explained, I feel like there's a lot of misunderstanding and misinformation about PR packs um, in beer. So what happens, a brewery wants to get some, particularly now, right? People aren't gonna be seeing or, or finding out about new beers in the traditional way. The, the main way is kind of through social media. So how can they get new drinkers um, or make new drinkers aware of their beers outside of their own social following and that is to engage people like us who have a platform, beer media folks, whatever, and uh, we post about it. So one thing, it's called a PR, public relations pack, which means there's no obligation. We're not getting paid to talk about the beers. They send them and if we like them, we talk about them. I like Henderson, I think they're a great company. We met uh, the owners, when was that? Like. December at that It was Nordic still cold, Fest. yeah. It was cold. I think it was December. Okay. Or November. But it has to be November because it wasn't like snowing or anything like that. Yeah. We hung out. We got a nice tour of the back there. And they were just super cool. Um, typically, their beers haven't been something I've been super excited about because they are a gateway brewery. But I've been having a few more of their beers lately and I've been genuinely enjoying them. So they're just well made. Particularly right now, during all of this, you just want like a nice, well made, easy drinking beer. You don't always want to have to think about what you are putting in your mouth. So basically what happens is the breweries send these out with notes again, with no expectation. So we create content with those things. They often, hold this, stay right there. So they usually send like a little piece of paper with them. And this right here has all the tasty notes. Henderson are really good with this. Yeah, Not like every that. brewery does it, but I personally appreciate it. I find it very uh, entertaining when the Quebec breweries send them only in French. So I gotta figure it out. Um, but this is very helpful. So before cracking this, I took a look at it and uh, I had a vague idea of what the beer was about at least. Well, not very really vague, a bit more detailed. I checked on Untapped as well. So that allows me to, you know, figure out exactly what they're intended with this beer. So I can, um, just because they're calling it a table beer with lemon. There you go. I forgot that part. So I really appreciate that. Um, and then what we do is decide to create content. So the number of PR packs that we get, it's, it's decent, but I typically will create the content and then you know, figure it out afterwards whether we like the beer and want to talk about it. So um, I generally roll the dice. I would film, this is something new, where we would, we used to do those beer mail videos. You guys might have seen that. I'll link the playlist, boom, here. Um, they got a little bit- Repetitive is the word, not redundant, yeah. And it's just like, uh, you know, no one really cares that much about seeing a review. It's not super engaging. So what we decided to do was we did the one minute beer reviews, I reckon like a year, year and a half ago, and they've gone quite well because they're quick. 
I'm really bad at them now because they're like closer to two, <sighs> two and a half minutes. But I try and keep them a bit shorter. So what I like to do is a mix of one minute beer reviews where I have these lights right here. You know, get these lights. Right behind where Tiff is pointing the camera right there is the set. You might recognize it. Do that. Boom. Oh, can I say this too? Uh, these are from Burpees and Brews. They're amazing. Ooh. So check her out. Check yeah. her out. Um, so I would set up here, I would record the one minute beer reviews, and then afterwards take a couple photos, vertical and horizontal, so landscape and uh, portrait, uh, for the two different, for the YouTube uh, landscape thumbnail and the portrait one for the IGTV, which is where we put it. If we don't do a one minute review, we're gonna do a photo. So because this is a video content, usually have, we have the trailer in the middle on Instagram and then we have photos of beer either side. So I'm going to, well, Tiffany's going to, because Tiffany's a bit more creative than me. We're gonna take the beer and she's gonna take uh, the big camera over here and she's gonna put it somewhere in the house. We actually redecorated end of last year uh, to make it more friendly for photography. And YouTube. We, and YouTube because we do so much of it. Uh, and then take the photo and then we have to choose which photo we're gonna do. Tiff will edit it and then I'll post it. So it is quite a process. It's a lot of work just to promote beer when you're not getting paid to do it. Um, but that's how we support the community. It's how we give back to the craft breweries who, you know, we just love, we love what they're doing. They're small businesses. We talk about this stuff all the time. You know, they're usually a couple, a few friends, whatever it is, business partners, and they, you know, put everything into this. So we want to support how we can, that's what the platform's for, via the podcast, via the videos, via the social, things like that. So that's basically what the content creation thing looks like. So we, on that note, we are going to go and create some content and we'll jump back shortly. Rebel soul child got a fist ball. I'm a respawn of ancestors and I'm blessed, huh? They are not him, tell him fess up. I get checked stub, hella carefree, not the scares me, hella reckless. Yeah. All right, so Tip on a Saturday night is working hard editing the next okay. BOS the video. Work doesn't stop, okay? Ever. And uh, tell me what, oh, what this you, what one's going to come out tonight, yeah. It's dropping right so tonight, I'm yeah. just finishing, I'm just doing the review. Hey, so we'll link tip it. Tip for the other content creators. Here. Yes, tell them, give me a tip. Review so and edit in double speed. Ooh, you press L. And this video, you'll be able to link it on the card. Yes, for point, sure. Point to where the card is. Tell them where the card is. Where am I direction my head? It's going to be it's right come there. Up there. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, you have another beer? I do have another so beer. Come over to me? Okay. I All came right. over here. So, the next beer from Henderson, this one is really cool. This is called We Must Stand Alone to Win Together. It's actually called Stand Alone Together. I love that. Yeah. And like because Isn't of that sick? artwork is now yeah. if you're from Toronto, you already know what this is all about. Mm -hmm. Um I moved to Toronto in twenty ten. I had lived there in two thousand and four, so I was familiar with this. Um I lived about two blocks from Honest Ed's Honest Ed's was this like He's gonna say department store. It's just this big ass store in Toronto with these six signs. If you've ever seen it, kind of like Harrods in London, but not as fire, I guess. But it's <laughs> isn't it's Harrods fancy? fancy? Yes, I'm saying. So it's, it's not like, like it's uh, not the it's same not fancy, at all. <laughs> but you know, lit up. You know, what I'm saying. you know, honestly, it's just like whole red fruit. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. So the gentleman who did all the signs for us, his name is Wayne Rubin. So he did the artwork for this beer. So cool. And this is, uh, Henderson has a series called the Ides of, you know, April, Ides of May, blah, blah, blah. So it's like a, an ongoing series. This is number 48 of their series. So this is the April 2021, and it's a West Coast lager. So I actually, uh, I got a couple of these, luckily. So I got to try it the other day, so I'm actually excited to do the proper review now. Um, a West Coast lager, if I'm not mistaken, I think it just means it's a dry hop lager. Um, which are probably my favorite type of lagers. I'm so happy to get this beer because I freaking love crispies. Look You're it. all about the crispy oh lifestyle. Oh my gosh. And they just, I just don't have that many of them. Retired Haze boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, <laughs> So as you can tell, that is just like, mate, you could, re can you see me through that? You yeah, read, you actually can. You can read a document through this. <laughs> Great head. Got the tropical nose of like a dry hop. I, I like it. Let me see. Hold on. As far as the hops in this one, it rocks Northern Brewer, Tet Nanga, and Mount Hood. So I guess more noble hop varieties, which is too, super dope. Do you want to explain of, what noble is? So noble hops are kind of like the the OG, typical, not the new world hops that were sort of created in a lab and, and sort of made in North America primarily, but, you know, Australia, New Zealand, uh, are the main hop growing regions aside from Yakima Valley, which is Idaho, Washington, and Oregon State on the Pacific Northwest of the U.S., so the noble hops are like those type of joints. Tetnang is from Germany. I'm not sure where Mount Hood's from. 
Um, no warps are SARS, which is the typical hop in a Pilsner. This is not a Pilsner, it's a lager. Um, all the ones like Fuggles and Golding and Kent and all that stuff are from England, all those type of joints. So just like they don't have a lot of tropical fruit all the time. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit more earthy, grassy type of thing, but just the typical hops you would have found in more old world beers. So this, I don't know, just smells like a Pilsner. So yeah, Nino. Yeah. So it's, whilst it's West Coast, I guess it's got a little bit of a piney-ness. I think Mount Hood is from North America, if I'm not mistaken. So it just, yeah, it's just like a nice, crispy, it's like bitter, much more bitter than a typical uh, Pilsner would be or Lager would be. So I imagine that's probably what they're going for with this one. And by the way, all the profits from this beer go to the Parkdale Community Food Bank. And it's clearly standalone together. It's clearly about social distancing. It's about everything we're going through right now. Um, I love that they've been able to not only get this beer together in time for uh, everything we're going through, but also get such an iconic Toronto uh, artist to do the label. I think that's super, super dope, and it speaks to how uh, Henderson rock with their community. So I'm going to enjoy this. We're going to take a photo of this, and I'll be back with the final beer. All right, y'all. So just had a somewhat random chat with uh, Nathan from Nathan Does Beer and Noah from Beerism. Shout out to you boys. Uh, we had a video chat. We're trying to do it like, you know, once every two, three weeks just to kind of keep in touch. And um, it's kind of nice because we didn't do that before. So it's like, you know, that whole distancing thing, which is kind of the theme of this video, as well as the content creation, is um, causing more people to, to have more contact than they would have before. So, uh, just after I finished with them, Tiff is a pro and she edited the video. The latest one, the Let's Argue video that we did with uh, Le Terroir de Jules. I'm going to pin that to the top of the page. I'm going to get my Instagram and Twitter promo on. Um, we've uploaded it on Facebook natively and YouTube now. It's going to promote it across everywhere. Had to add it to the link in the bio and all that nonsense. So, the last beer I'm going to do. This is uh, Henderson and the Society of Beer Drinking Ladies. They did a beer... Uh, does it have a name? No, just Hazy Session IPA. With Grapefruit and Lime. It is 4%, so it's super light. Um, did they use Pacific Cups? Doesn't say. Oh, Mandarin and Bavaria and Moteca, so that should actually be pretty good. So, we met Erica from Society of Big Drinking Ladies at Henderson when we met the guys. Um, she's, I think, a marketing manager, right? I have no idea. Okay, well, something like that. I think she does a lot of marketing things. So, these guys are arguably the most prolific collaborators that I've ever seen that aren't a brewery. These study be drinking ladies do beers with everybody. It's very, very cool. So this one, I'm just trying to get the, I bet there's more yeast at the bottom here. Yeah, it's getting hazier. Um, it smells super tropical. Grapefruit and lime zest. It's actually not too bad. It's a kind of uh, interesting uh, combo. Get in you. Nice. Super light. The grapefruit isn't really over the top, nor the lime, I guess. It's like the zest, so it's kind of like Subtle, super crushable. They've really gone in on the summer beers on these ones, eh? Like, yeah. Super patio crushers. Or balcony crushers, as it is as, now. Well, that's really cool. <laughs> if you're lucky enough to have. Or backyard crushers. Or backyard crushers, yeah. Front, front porch, all that stuff. Yeah, that. front porch. Stoop. <laughs> stoop crushers. So, yeah, this is what, like the latest batch from Henderson has been really, really good. Um, I think they're definitely pushing the boundaries within the scope of what they do as far as that gateway kind of approachable beer. Um, I've liked all of the ones that they've sent. It's very, very impressed, man. Uh, great stuff, guys. So make sure you go check them out. I believe they do on online ordering and stuff. I'm not sure if these specific beers will still be around by the time we drop this video, which I imagine will be soon. It'll be like, I might edit it tomorrow. <sighs> well, you might see this soon then, guys. There you go. Um, so check them out. Uh, they also do home deliveries and things like that, of course. So a lot of breweries in Ontario do. So if you're looking for that for those folks in Ontario, I can speak to them at least. And BC do some crazy stuff too, but Ontario are killer with that. So Happy belated birthday. Thank you it's so just much. funny, it's just been like oh, sitting sorry, there right in the background. <laughs> I, my Australian family, my auntie and my mom are very good with the gift, the greeting cards. They always send greeting cards for mm -hmm. everything. It's very it's cute. It's like their thing, so, you know, I got a rep for it, right? They spent always. the money to send it here, they put the love into it, so I got a rep. So guys, that is it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, mate, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe below, hit the notification bell. Ding. So you know where the new new drops. Follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast. Check out the long form audio, uh, Apple Podcast, Spotify. Chuck us a five star rating and a review if you can. Uh, appreciate y'all. We're still going hard, dropping the content every week. Tiff is now my co host. The quarantine editions uh, on our adjunct series. So we call it season nine because season seven was when we had to stop, season eight was the one with Overhop that we had to put on pause. 
and now season nine we're just kind of going to be jumping back and forth for a while. It is what it is. And now we're doing guests on the podcast. We did our first one on Friday, which was great with Nate from Nathan Does Beer. I would like to speak to more brewers. I was talking to the guys before. They said I should hit up people like anywhere. I mean, it's not a bad idea. I can maybe just get like mates from Australia and yeah. stuff on, like if the time works out. So that could be pretty fun. Lots of good stuff to come. Keeping it interesting. Guys, stay safe. Stay home. Look out for the next one of this. We're going to do a bunch of these vlogs, I think, now. The stay home and drink craft beer with me. I like it. Let me know if you like it. Uh, mate, take it easy. Get in ya. Yeah.